We tip today at uh, powerjackrepair.org, we got a Lenovo IdeaPad L340 gaming laptop. It came in for the power jack repair, but when I opened it up, the jack is already been replaced by somebody. And looks like they did a good job. And my guess, they just sent it to us thinking that they replaced the jack and they didn't do a good job. So they want maybe us to replace it again. I didn't. We don't really ever call anybody back and forth asking what the problem is. How can we help you? I mean, this is not us. We get it get it gets in. Uh, we look at it and we like it's a brand new piece. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in the plug and see what's the voltage like. Does it output the voltage to the motherboard? And here we get the 20 volts right there. Here we get another 20 volts. And let's say right here, somewhere here, we're not getting anything, all right? So do we get anything here? Nope, we're not getting anything down the street. All right, so what I'm gonna do in those terms, that means that something is shorting on the motherboard. I'm connecting the floor, the infrared camera. Let me disconnect that before it overheats. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect the floor camera. This is the floor camera. It has the screen on, on one side that shows me the temperature. Um, don't buy this floor camera. It's right here is the, it, it's for sale. I bought it from uh, people on the West Coast that advertise this camera, but I honestly wouldn't buy it. The only reason I use it is so that it has a cable right here connected to the computer. And you could see exactly what's going on on the screen here. I usually use a different. Uh, I use I use the FLIR the FLIR FLIR camera, not the Chinese stuff. But so that I could show it to you, I have to use this thing. Again, don't buy this thing unless you have to make videos. And if you have to make videos, I think there are a bunch of other options for the same price. But I was misled at uh, buying this camera. Anyways, so let me show you how we're gonna detect the shortage here. Um, we, what we're gonna do is we're gonna let's switch to the camera. Let's let's switch to the camera. All right. So that's the floor camera. Now I'm moving the camera, and I'm just gonna show you how the motherboard looks right now. And it looks like something like that. There's a lot of reflections. I mean, right here you could see a camera being reflected from the top. This is the shield. So we're gonna ignore the shield. But, uh, and that's the infrared right here going from the camera. So it depends on, on which angle we look at. That's what we see. So let's connect the power supply. Let's connect the power supply. And now let's switch to the camera. And we're looking at the, here is the cord right there. There is the cord. And we get some reflections here. And we get the biggest spot right here, you see? 121 degrees. Right here. Right there. All right. So let's switch to the... So you could see right here. Right there. Is where the spot is at. You see? All right. And that's the reason I had to buy this camera. All right, let's disconnect this guy. Let's shut down the FLIR camera. Because I don't want the infrared lights to be bouncing all over the room, causing the eye issues. All right. So we shut down that. And right now what we're going to do is we're going to take the voltmeter. And it was showing the redness right here. We're going to... Um, we're gonna check the capacitor. So the capacitor right here shows at zero. Capacitor right here doesn't show us anything. Shows us good. This capacitor is good. This capacitor is good. And then we're gonna check this capacitor right here, and it's good. And this one shows us zero. No, hold on. No, this one is good. Strange. This one is good. That one is good. This is good. And that's good. And this is good as well. 
So maybe this one, this is the only capacitor that doesn't show us, that shows us zero. Hmm. Strange, usually it's, you know what, hold on one second. Let me fire up the floor camera one more time. I just want to be 100% sure that I'm gonna be searching exactly what we're gonna do is we're gonna I want to see where the flash is coming from so like that maybe like that no oh that's too close here all right so we're gonna Position the camera like that. Power it up. All right, the flash is coming from from right here and not right here. Hold on one second. Here. Let's see. Maybe it's right here. Nope. Right there. Nope. Oh, the flash is coming from that chip right here. From this chip I know I don't have that chip I was thinking it's gonna be coming from the yeah all right uh. all right so it showed me that the chip right here is uh, flashing we're gonna look in the microscope what chip is this and I probably would not be able to fix this guy because if it would be a capacitor I would be able to replace the capacitor and basically just take it off the motherboard and everything would be nice and peachy. Mm. But you know what, this capacitor right here, I've seen this guy before, I think. Yeah, okay. So, you know what, let me remove that capacitor that gives us a zero. Basically, the resistance on this capacitor right here is zero. So, first thing, I'm going to remove this capacitor. Maybe we have something on the other side. Oh, we got a few more capacitors right here. Hold on one second. Let's see. Maybe we got the capacitor on this side that's causing the issue. No, no, this one is good. And this one is good. How about the smaller ones? Yeah. Good means they don't show us zero. If they show us zero, that means uh, they, they encounter a shortage. So, all right. Um... This is the only guy I can see that uh, shows us zero. The other ones are not showing us any zeros. All right, so let me remove this guy right here, this capacitor right there. And let's shut down the, hot, uh, the infrared. Let's look at under the microscope what, what we have right there and I'll point out to you what I found. Alrighty, so this is the guy right here that warms up, this guy, all right? The only capacitor that uh, shows us zero is this one, but I'm pretty sure the capacitor is fine. I'm pretty sure it's this guy. Let me show you how it looks like. This is fine. This is fine. This guy is fine. That guy is fine right there. This one is uh, not fine. Let me take a picture of that guy so I could see maybe those guys are replaceable. If you got exactly the same laptop and you replace this type of chip and everything works, please uh, make a comment below because um, I don't know where to get those chips from. Again, once they stamp, once they put a stamp Lenovo on it, go, go find it, you know, I don't know where you're going to find it. So the goal is to get uh, to take this uh, capacitor right here of the motherboard. What's wrong with the screwdriver? All right. So we're going to take this guy off the motherboard and hopefully um, the shortage on this guy is going to be gone. Let's, let's see. All right. So we're going to add some flux. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add some solder. 
so that the old solder gonna mix with the new solder. Alrighty. Alright. Let's add some solder right here. Let's add some solder right there. And let's take this guy off. Let's clean it up. Let's not take anything else off besides that guy. All right, the board doesn't want to let go of it because it's really. All right, like that. All right, let's see if the. Alrighty, the bad news is that I just tested the capacitor that I just took off and the capacitor is totally fine. I want to see if I am gonna measure this guy right here. This is totally fine. About one right here. And this one is fine. This one is fine. and that one is fine as well this is good yeah i mean there is no point uh, looking further into it it's pretty much this chip right here which i can't really do anything about um let's see if we still get the minus on this side as well yeah we still get the minus on that side they get minus on both sides yeah um yeah i've seen this before and i know i cannot fix it all right guys thanks so much for watching um again seems like this chip right here is the problem if that's not the problem leave a comment below but um i've seen it all too well before all right and there's on lenovo 5 series lenovo legions 5 series and on this gaming same thing probably this guy if anybody sells those chips please leave a comment below i would gladly replace those for people so yeah thank you guys have a good day goodbye